Hello and welcome back to Seaside Garage. A proper Seaside Garage car is in the garage. It's not mine, unfortunately. I have been asked to try to fix some issues on this one. And uh, I really wanted to show you guys this car because this is an example of perfect, perfect patina. This is a Opel Record 2.1 diesel. It belongs to a couple who, just like me, owns a lot of different kind of weird cars. This is one of them. This was a barn find. When Jakob got this car, it had been standing in a barn for 30 five years and i think it's from 74 i'm i'm not exactly sure but around uh, 74 and, they, and he told me the car had only been on the road for i think he said six years before it was put in that barn for 35 years and now it's here and he got it through the mot of sweden not that long ago actually it will never have to go to an mot ever again the rules are different in sweden than in denmark but anyway it is working really nicely and Jakob drove it to me yesterday all the way from Sweden to my place. That's a long drive. That is telling you something about the, uh, the reliability of this car. They would like to fix some stuff that could be really complicated, but the plan right now is to just keep it as is. He told me that he was considering repainting it. I just want to say that I would just... Oh, please don't do that because this car is just looking awesome as it is. The faded paint, the stone chips, the blue fender at the front and all that is just perfect. Anyway, I haven't showed you the best part of this car yet because Oh! Seaside garage sticker. Woo! So what is the issue? Oh, by the way, look at this power bulge. The diesel engine is higher than the petrol one. Therefore, they had to make this indentation in the, uh, in the hood and it looks awesome. It really looks awesome. You get the feeling that this is a muscle car, but it really isn't. Oy. Diesel madness from the 70s. Oh yeah. The issue with this car, it's using around a liter of oil for, for every 500 kilometers or thereabout. That's a lot of oil. They would like to fix that um, or get it better at least because they, they really enjoy this car. They would like to use it for car shows around the country and uh, they would just like that to be a bit better. They got a couple of spare engines for this one, but as Jakob told me, you will never know if it's just as bad the other one. So all the work of putting in another engine is, is a lot of work. And um, apparently these Opel diesel engines are not known to be very good, unfortunately. But I hope to be able to diagnose why it's using, why it's using this much oil. At the moment, without knowing this engine really well, the only possibilities that I can really see for oil usage is valve stem seals. It could be nice if it's that because it's rather simple. The next thing is piston rings. That would be an expensive engine overhaul. It could also, of course, just be, be leaking, but I really doubt that's to be the case because they would have noticed, of course, that's a lot of oil to, to spill out. Um, and the last thing should be some kind of breathing system that leaves way too much oil fumes into the intake and by that just burning the oil away. That could also be the case. Uh, there's no turbo on this one, so we are not looking at turbo seals or anything like that. I really, really, really hope to find an issue with the valve stem seals because we can change them, maybe even with the uh, Sulena head in place. If not, then we'll just have to take the Solana head off, which is not a massive job, but it will take a lot of hours, of course. It's interesting to see how much this engine actually reminds me of the, uh, the Mercedes I had in a while back, the valve covers uh, built 
the way the valve cover is designed and all that. Uh, it's quite similar. Let's take a look at it. Don't know if it's possible to see some of the valve. No, not at all. I have to take it apart to, to check that out. But what I could do is to start it up and see if the blow-by is massive. Because the, if the blow-by is massive, then we could be looking at valve, uh, I mean uh, piston rings. So if a lot of pressure is coming out of, his, of this, then that could be the problem. It is running really nicely, but this is not looking so good. I don't know if you can hear me, but this is the uh, breather hose. This is not good. There's a massive amount of blow by on this engine. I think it's pretty safe to say that the issue with oil consumption comes from worn piston rings or Solena walls on this engine. Uh, it is running really nicely though, but it has started to consume its own oil supply. I don't think there's any reason to check out the valve stem seals now. I don't think there's any reason to check the breather system or anything because it's working just fine. And to be honest, if this was my car, I would just use it as is because it's burning a bit of oil, but it's doing that anyway. It's a diesel, so um, I wouldn't be too worried about it. And then when it gets really bad, then maybe change it for one of the other engines or go the distance and rebuild the engine. But it will be costly, that's for sure. I just want to check one other thing just to confirm my theory. Remember, I am no expert, so this could be wrong. But if we have oil on this tube... Normally there will be a little bit of oil in an intake, but... Especially if it's turbo, but this is not a turbo and it's quite a lot of oil, I'd say. My theory on this car is the oil consumption is due to a lot of blow-by. That could be from stuck piston rings, it could be from broken piston rings, it could be from worn cylinders. Um, what can we do about it? We could install a catch tank. We could live with it. And the last thing would be to try some kind of solution to try to unstuck the piston rings. I'm talking about solutions prior to pull, pulling out the engine and taking it all the way down to, to, uh, to rebuild it. Um, I think personally it would be an overkill to rebuild this engine because it's running so nicely. I would try as much as possible before doing that. But it's not my car, it's not my decision. Um, but maybe trying to run some kind of seafoam product through the engine could be a good idea. What do you think? This will be all for this video. The next video on Doris, the diesel Opel, will be a drive in, with, in it because I would like to do a test drive to see what else is wrong. I just thought of another way that this engine could burn oil. It could actually burn oil through the diesel pump because most likely it is lubricated from engine oil also. I'm not actually sure about that. But if it is, it could be leaking internally and putting engine oil into the, the system. But I'm not sure it is that actually. But the next video on this one will be a test drive. So uh, I'm looking forward to that because this is a really cool car. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.